personal doubts and why they would make a uh, good replacement for fossil fuels would not make the replacement. Sorry. Words there. Today's environment, the human population is growing and with it its needs for electricity and power to support itself. Unfortunately, the fossil fuel resources used to produce this energy have proven in the process of using them to be harmful toward us and running low to the danger of running out. these problems we have been looking at energy sources that will last us as long as the human race will last and is clean enough that won't be toxic, toxic to our environment nor towards us that matter which would make a good replacement for fossil fuels. Geothermal energy is one source that is said to look promising Yet the question remains, can it support a grown population effectively and safely? Geothermal energy is a heat energy produced by the Earth's core. The energy can be used for two purposes today. One purpose is to use the shallow energy near the surface to heat buildings and um, roads, sidewalks in the winter, air conditioning buildings in the summer as well. The other purpose is to generate electricity using the greater temperatures and pressures much further below the surface to heat water which rises in the form of steam <coughs> and which is piped to a turbine which presses it and spins a shaft to generate a electricity which is basically a Complete this process of transferring heat energy to mechanic, mechanic, mechanical to electrical. They build four types of geothermal plants. The most efficient is known as a dry steam plant. It basically uh, go, drills down into known pockets of, or more like discovered pockets of hot water reservoirs, and uses the steam produced to uh, go up, spin the turbine, spin the generator, make electricity. Then they allow the steam to condense, and then they pump it back into the reservoir to make a closed circuit of the water. They'll lose the pressure, which would make the it just ruin the effectiveness of the well. Next efficient plant is known as a flash power plant. This plant pumps water of high heat and extreme pressure.